Maxi Gorn. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Off a win, mate. Yes. Big win. The first time for a long time. Yeah. Actually, first time with you guys, I think I've come in with a big smile on my face and we've won. Yes. Mm. You've done a lot of I losing mean, you've under come us. in with a smile on your face a lot. I don't, yeah. you know, you're, the smile, you've still had the smile. It just hasn't been a natural smile. No, I'm still, I'm relatively a happy person. Uh, and we, I mean, if I play Friday, Saturday, and I've come in on a Monday and I'm still upset, something's gone wrong. So, um, no, we've, we've learned a lot over the last sort of three or four weeks. We've lost a couple of close games. Um, we got belted by doggies. Um, and we wanted to go up to Goldie. And the mission was to be the first team Ooh. to go up there other than Brisbane Lions, but technically they're a half an hour road trip. Uh, the first team to go up there and get it done in Gold Coast because they've had an um, unbelievable home home record and um, and we got it done. You guys are good with the mission though, because if I recall correctly, Gather Round, you were there for the week before and then the week of, yep. and you went away, stayed, took the families, the kids, yeah, and you got I, it done. I like, I like them. You can't do 23 missions, otherwise then that get to be boring. Well, that's Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah, I set you up. Um, but Thank you. I think to be able to use it every, every now and then, um, it certainly, it, it, it helped for us this week because uh, it's been a relatively big week for the club in oh, terms yeah. of... Uh, what's what's happening? stuff going what's on? Happened? A bit of noise? Uh, what, what are you, I mean, obviously what are you alluding to? In, so, yeah. uh, just, a, just a close loss to Port Adelaide uh, was uh, reported. Mm. Uh, no, it's obviously... Um, uh, Any time uh, your CEO has to come out and speak, your coach is speaking, um, I've had to come out at different times. Um, your group can sort of galvanize together, um, and that's what we did. We went up there. Um, the VFL played in the game beforehand. They lost a lot, but um, the fact that we're all up there as one big group um, just made it a lot um, more calmer and uh, made you feel like you're up there to prove a point. Now, we do have to touch on something more serious at some point. Please do. But we'll do that after the break. Foggy today, but doesn't mean that winter's back. Max is going to be 19, so colder still mornings, correct. Colder mornings sometimes means winter is definitely gone mm. because it uh, means it's going to be a nicer day. I don't know if that's true, but yeah, we'll go with I feel like cold mornings means nice day. You declared the sun was coming out and winter was over, so we'll believe you there. Yep. But we do have to ask you a serious question. Oh, we are all about fun on. here, but we do have to ask one question right. about your football one, club at yep. least. No follow-up questions, thankfully, for you as a rule of the show. <laughs> there has been so much talk about your footy club, especially this week, Christian Petrarca, the noise of the ex-president. There's talk of fractures within the football club. Is it media beat-up, or do we have to start to believe it where there's smoke, there's fire? Uh, I mean, it d- just depends um, how you get in your, your source, if that makes sense. So there is always fractures in a team that has played finals for four years and now isn't playing finals. Um, we've lost until Gold Coast. We lost four in a row um, to put ourselves in the chance to play in the top eight. So um, we're pretty flat on that. And in the halfway mark, well, I think we're top four. Um, so that's that's flattening. Um, so conversations have been had all around the football club to make sure next year we get back in the finals. And um, so there would be disappointment. Like my mum and dad, if they're talking to their friends, would go, Max is pretty disappointed at the moment. And as I am, because I'd, ra- I'd, I'd want to be playing finals. So you can see how things can circulate around. Um, obviously, there's um, the track stuff, and um, I'm in open dialogue with track, and um, uh, I don't see the build-up that's happened with track. Um, he went away for um, nine, ten weeks to – well, I went away for four of them to Noosa. Obviously, he had to spend a few weeks at home early on after the surgery, and – um, I'm happy you did that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy you went away. And any player that is struggling mentally um, with anything that's going on doesn't have to be the ICU two weeks the track had. It can be just a rolled ankle. Like it, anyone that's struggling, more than happy to grant sort of leave on that as well. So um, that'll all play out. There'll be conversations that we'll have over the next two weeks. I'm pretty focused on Collingwood to be honest, and I was focused on Gold Coast and Gold Coast on the, on the weekend. So I've been sort of one out, one back throughout all all of this. Um, I, because I do love this show and I love coming on and speaking football, I keep myself in the know. So I do um, read a lot of stuff, but I still don't take it all in. So I'm able to sit one out, one back and focus on Gold Coast and then focus on Pies. And the idea is come Monday, so we play Friday and then obviously Saturday, Sunday will be um, a write-off. So come Monday, Tuesday, I'll start um, I'll start talking to the uh, board, CEO, Richo, Goody, all the players about how we make this club better. And I think that's the best way to do it. 
And just on a personal note about looking forward to the Collingwood game, because it is a bit of a dead rubber, obviously, in the sense of the season. But there were a lot of people on the weekend who were saying that Darcy Cameron might be mm. very much in the mix for the All-Australian. Of course, you've had a great season as well as an individual. This might be the battle that determines who gets that All-Australian spot on Friday night. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, not what I'm thinking about leading into the Friday night game. Um, there's, we've got a little rivalry with Collingwood, I think, over the last sort of four or five years, and um, I'm excited. I was hoping that they were potentially going to be in contention and um, we could be the team that maybe stopped them. Um, I think they still are in contention. So technically, if we get within 200 points, I think we do stop them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's not really it's what I want to do. If, it's an achievable yeah. way. If you don't, these conversations on Monday are <laughs> going to be hard. not fun. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be really hard. But um, there's a lot of informed rucks, uh, yeah. to be fair. I'm not naive to know that um, my position in that team is... Um, yeah, subject to uh, Darcy Cameron playing good football, Rel Marshall playing good football. Um, obviously, the big fella from North and Cherry playing great football. And um, there's even more. Oscar McInerney, Lloyd Meek, I can keep going. There's, a, there's some seriously informed rucks. So um, as a proud ruckman, I'm happy to see that rucks are sort of dominating the game again. And um, teams that don't have a great first ruck are struggling against some of these teams that have big, strong first rucks. This news passed me by late yesterday. The AFL shared it on Instagram. I even saw it on the Channel 7 News. Oh, yeah. But I don't talk toddler. And maybe that's why I didn't understand. I'll play it. Don't turn in 2-7. 2-7? Who for? For the demon. What I colours said, do they wear? The red and blue. And what's their song? It's the red no black. It's the half white. So George actually got the song, correct? He did. Yesterday, but buried the lead. Yes. You've re-signed. Re-signed. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh. Till, till 22-7 is what he said then. <laughs> <laughs> he said to 2-7. Oh, that to was two, the message. Time. Yeah, to 2-7. So hang on. So it is 2024 now. So you've, you've extended your contract until yeah. 2027. I had next year and then I've yeah. just chucked right. another little two on the end. Another two on the end of that. Yeah. Okay, locked it in. What I've been doing uh, with George is um, been floating these um, opposition footy signs, oh. putting pressure on the mm. club and saying, if you don't oh. sign me... I won't release George singing It's a Grand Old Flag. And okay. So you've got a lot of like other recordings, I've got, secret I've recordings got you can time, release at any every time. time. Yeah. Every time. Even, even Gold Coast and GWS. Yeah. I don't even know their songs. And, <laughs> and George has got them down pat. I'm not sure the Gold Coast players know their song. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it is massive news and, and well done. Congratulations. Uh, a sign and show of faith again. Yep. In the footy club. And I think when I'm out, I get to sort of the Pendles, Goldstein, Boke age. So they're still playing good footy at um, their age. So hopefully I can as well. Max Gorn, captain of Melbourne, but also captain of Lululemon. It's the true. Brand yeah. has been sullied over the weekend. Brand ambassador, somebody who wears it so well when you come in here to the studio. You always look so relaxed, so stylish, so Lululemon. Yep. Tracksuits and tan walkers was the headline I read in the paper <laughs> on the weekend. Tracksuits and tan walkers, colon, wealth, ambition, and Melbourne's Lulu Lemon Elite. And then the example of the person who's meant to represent this is Bill Brownless. <laughs> <laughs> Have so, you seen the photo? Because there's three people in this photo. Yes. Two, Two of them are wearing Lulu Lululemon. Lemon. And the and other one, one of is, them is a pervert. <laughs> one of them is creepily looking at the two ladies in <laughs> one the of them is stranger danger. <laughs> going so, so along. Why is Bill in the um in the article? Well, it's about South Yarra, yes. okay. ostensibly. Okay, and he's a South Yarra local, is he? Yes. So the okay. way that he explained it was that he knows somebody at the age who knows somebody who wrote the article who asked him if he'd be a part of it. Yeah, okay, understood. I, I mean, that's what it sounds like. And then Bill's seen it as an opportunity to like plug a few of the local establishments that he spends time in and get fr some freebies, I yeah. think. The Lululemon I know, yeah. uh, yet to be actually announced as captain of Lululemon. Don't think that's my role. Oh. Um, but the Lululemon I know. I mean, if they're going to have a captain. Though. I feel like it may come my way. Yeah. Um, but just... Stenson, who is the marathon runner come 13th, she mm. probably is captain at the moment. Mm. Okay. You did no. influence me, though, to go and buy some. Yes. I came in the other day with a beautiful jacket on. It's oh, true. You, anything. Fully yeah, you did too. weatherproof. Jackets, pants, singlets, shirts, uh, active wear. Not, anyway, that's what I know. <laughs> the Billy, the little lemon I know <laughs> yeah. doesn't cater for Billy Brown. No. <laughs> No, and, and they, no. and they <laughs> say they cater for everyone. No, they would come Except out and say, for Billy. "Yeah, they would." I would be confident mm. that the head of Lulu would come out and say, "Not Billy Brown." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, in your capacity as ambassador, <laughs> maybe brought in some product for other radio shows? 
Uh, in that fact, I, I, I have for Triple M, actually. Oh, uh, this is big. Oh. Yeah, Hang you, on a minute. You might see some of the old team wearing some casual Lululemon. Yeah, so that could oh. be something I do. I feel like we've got the relationship now where um, you can maybe give me some free points bets. Uh, yep. bonus, <laughs> bonus bets. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Will can give you like some gags. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You can take me on to Sunshine Coast, one of your tours. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah, all right. I'd be happy with that. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I stay in the same accommodation as you, man. <laughs> yeah, we were talking off air about that. I, um, I, I am doing a trip north yeah. uh, to Queensland. Camping. Yeah. You're yeah. doing a no. camping trip. Mm. So I I don't camp. No. Well, you like to sleep under the stars, yeah, as quite, Wayne Carey would say, as yeah. long as there's five of them. <laughs> <Six> of them <laughs> yeah. I would Seven say I'm them. quite the opposite to camping. Okay. Yeah. You need to. Have you ever spent a night? I mean, you're a big fella too, so yeah. tent living wouldn't necessarily be what you were up for, I imagine. But have you ever spent a night in a tent? I've done it. I've, I mean, I've slept under the stars in Alice Springs. That was a great um, night. The, I, I mean, Jake Melksham is great, a uh, great friend. He's got a, a boat shed in Dramana. And we went there for uh-huh. New Year's Eve. And I absolutely loved it. I said, this is great. We're on the beach in his boathouse. A um, little bit dirty, like, and whatnot, because he's camping. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I, I <laughs> almost, a house. on the car ride back with Jess, I'm like, oh, I, I, I want to I want to get something near the beach, camp, like, this is great. And then I got back to my beach house in Blair Gary, and I said, no, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need to sleep in the shed <laughs> at the beach. He's, just, he's got six bunks in one room. No, nah. I'm, 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 I'm not going <laughs> George is down there on level three. He's ages away. <laughs> Where's the au pair going to sleep? <laughs> really breaking that Melbourne stereotype, Max. <laughs> uh, it is a delight to have you back yeah, in our studio. You, we'll see you uh, well done, Friday. Yes. See you Game Friday. day. All right, Game thank day. you.